I really like this jacket. I like how packable it is, how light it is. This is awesome and I will definitely be stuffing the bottom of my running vest, but probably not relying on it as a primary rain jacket for multi-day expeditions. Retail, this jacket runs $275. Obviously I didn't pay that much for it, but this jacket is a 2.5 layer Pertex shield, so it's not Gore-Tex. It may not last as long as Gore-Tex, but it is significantly lighter and packs smaller, which is why I wanted it. We do also have an interior mesh pocket. It's not zipped, but it does fold over. There's non-zippered pit ventilation, so this is just uh, very small perforations in the armpits. You can see straight through them. And then of course, a cinch around the waist as well. So it's a pretty basic rain jacket. It has all the necessities. It doesn't have a ton of extra features, but that's what I want. I want this very light, very packable. I want to be able to stuff this in the bottom of my running vest and not even know it's there. Whereas my Gore-Tex would take up half of my 12 liter uh, running vest. This packs down extremely small and it's very light. So downsides from what I've heard is that this material, the Pertex material is not going to last as long as Gore-Tex, um, but that is the only downside I can see at the moment. Uh, the material is a good bit thinner and potentially more likely to rip, but uh, we'll get outside and find out. This is the medium size. I'm just over six one foot tall, 160 pounds fairly slender, but I have long arms. So this is how the medium fits. Plenty of room underneath for a significant layer, maybe not many layers. Sleeves are plenty long enough, long enough in the back. Pockets are positioned that you may be able to put a backpack strap underneath them and still have access here. Hood is plenty big enough to fit a hat under, maybe even a small helmet, I'm not sure. And then the sides cinch up nicely as well. Twenty minutes in, still dry, water's beating up fairly nicely, but I am getting a little too warm. Definitely too warm. The jacket's great, but it's too warm for running. Still completely dry, except right around the neck where I had it open. It's, uh, it's not repelling water extremely well. It is soaking through here just the tiniest bit. Okay, we are back in the car. Definitely my arms are wet and it's, uh, it's not sweat, mostly. You can see the inside of the shoulder here. It definitely has soaked through at some points. It hasn't soaked through completely. There's good portion of the torso that has remained dry on the inside of the jacket. So great rain jacket, but maybe only for light rain and for backup emergencies. Not as a primary rain jacket for really hard rain for long periods of time.